Cops have a tough job keeping us safe, and they deserve good pay for a job well done. But what if their priority switches from public safety to making a buck for themselves and their departments? That's what happens with civil asset forfeiture. Cops can take people's money and property without making an arrest. The police just have to suspect the assets are tied in some way to illicit activity. People are on the side of a road alone with a police officer who's just searched their car, seized money, and said they're going to take it because they had it illegally. Often officers will threaten the people, if you don't give us the money, we're going to arrest you, we're going to take you to jail. So it presents people with really a no-win situation. We take a lot of property from people, we take a lot of money from people, we take homes, we take cars. Whether we can prove that this property was used to transport or to facilitate their illegal business, we don't even have to prove that, and yet we take their property and money. It looks like that they're not concerned about stopping the drugs, that they just want with the money. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Is that the case? And that shouldn't be the case, but that's but what it looks like. This is incredibly widespread. It's happening all around the country. Law enforcement officers at the local, state, and federal level take advantage of civil asset forfeiture and benefit from it. The Department of Justice raked in $4.2 billion through asset forfeiture in the last year alone. There are many benefits for the police officer. Typically, you'll drive the car that you seize from a previous case. So there's great incentive to go after a particular individual who has a certain type of car. The police rely on the fact that you're not going to hire a lawyer, you're not going to travel back to their town to fight the case. They get to keep the money and then put it towards their budgets. So why don't we just reform the laws to get rid of these bad incentives? Ask yourself one question. What politician wants to be seen going against police officers? We have organizations such as the Narcotics Officers Associations and Fraternal Order of Police, you know, who lobby quite a bit to maintain the, the status quo. It's inappropriate for us to lobby to maintain a policy that's beneficial to us. I believe it's wrong.